Boy, this guy is sure milking these frescas, huh? Playing Arizona in this uh, week six matchup. And uh, yeah, here's where we're at right now with the team. Uh, as you know, Alave, Mullins, Diamond, all rookies. Basically, enti our entire team is rookies, except for Hurd. So right now, every starter on our team is a rookie. And if you look at our wins and losses, we destroyed Washington. Had a couple close wins and losses against everyone else. And Arizona, as far as the league goes, a five-star offense. But their defense is a bit suspect. So we'll try to take advantage of that. I will be going all, all Navy. I'm ready to hop into it. So we will go receive the ball. Arizona's kicking off to us. Little Thunderstruck's playing in the background. And I'm going quick and in a hurry to the, uh, to the rookie, EJ Diamond. And we're going over the middle again. I don't think I can make that pass. I know I can't. Najee going to slide down. Going to get this slant across the middle. And I... Oh, I thought I missed it. I thought that was a bad pass, but he still held on to it. And that's going to take us down to the 41. Going to run the ball for the first time. Try to get to the outside. And we got a stiff arm. You love when we get a little stiff arm from Quincy. Just... He's been hitting the weights. He's doing a couple curls, a couple pushdowns. Float that over the middle. Get down to the 26. I like this route. We're going to see how this goes. We're going outside here to Diamond. Going to juke in between. Oh my god. Can you believe that? Showboating. And I get stopped. What am I doing? Just just put the ball in the end zone. I mean, I don't know what happened. And I'm just going quick. Fuck you. Touchdown. As soon as I snap the ball, just throw it really hard. Two-point conversion. I don't know. Oh, wow. Hey. All part of the plan. Hey, cheers. Bottoms up. Arizona's going to punt the ball. I love to see it. And is that one-on-one -on -one coverage in Diamond? DBs can't handle him. DBs hate him for this one secret. Going over the middle. Diamond, another beautiful catch. Um, nothing, nothing I like is open. Everyone's diving and falling. Everyone's diving, diving and falling, and we're going to get a gain of 11. That's our longest gain with the quarterback. I'm getting tackled. And uh, make the pass still anyway. Held on, and I'm in the red zone. Can you believe it? John Smith, I'm getting the laser to him. All right, here we go. A little comeback. That's covered. That's tight. I'm going to try to... Nope. It would really be nice if I could find a gap. And I think I did. I think I did. I know I did. That's EJ Diamond for a... another touchdown. That's his fourth on the year, I want to say. I've got 10 seconds to make a difference here. Safety's coming over the top. i got to hang in there. I'm lofting it. And that is a beautiful set. Oh, wait. We're not playing volleyball. We're playing football. It'd be different if this was volleyball. But that set was... Oh, my God. hey -oh. <laughs> That's some horse shit. Oh, do you smell that? That stinks. How? Uh, they were on the 45. Two seconds left. And they didn't kick the field goal. They went for the touchdown. Hail Mary and got it. So we got to be on our A game as Arizona's going to punt the ball. Uh, no more funny business. Gonna try to get it to the outside with the running back. I am, I say this every time, I'm a bit floored, if I'm being quite frank with you. I'm, oh, I'm fumbling the ball with the quarterback. I've played a lot of retro ball. I've never seen that happen. Uh, sacked and fumbled in the backfield. And they get an instant touchdown, and they're up by three. Can you believe that? This is not going well for me, guys. Again, I'm okay with losing. Uh, I've been doing it my whole life, but I don't like the way it's happening. It feels a bit disingenuous, if I'm being quite honest. Get the fuck off of me, please. Second and medium. I'm going over the middle. Oh my god, I thought they were going to do something to me. My plan here is honestly to just score uh, quick enough to where they can potentially score again and I can get the ball back for one final drive. But that would require me to not turn the ball over and also score at the same time. So starting the fourth quarter here, going to throw the ball quick to Diamond. Like diamonds in the sky. Uh, John Smith's wide open, moving at the speed of light. And he's going to go down inside the red zone. Little comeback here, little hitch route. Oh, you're not undercutting that. I saw you. I'm not letting you do that. That would make me mad, and I don't want to be mad. Oh, my God. Wide, ov wide open over the middle. Quincy Mullins. That's a Mullins touchdown. And this is exactly what I wanted. A minute and a half left. A minute and a half left, hoping that they, if they score, whatever. But let me have some time left. Hey oh Wow. hey oh Interception. You guys fucking suck. Uh, just, just don't fumble the ball, please. Defense came up with a huge stop. I wasn't expecting it. 
I just don't want to get sacked. I just don't want anything bad to happen. I just want to... I mean, I've already fumbled the ball twice. Are they really going to make me fumble the ball again? I don't know. I hope not. Nine seconds left. I just don't want to fumble. I just dive down, slide down. Walk out of Houston here with a victory. Can you believe it? And Romeo Coney. Coney Island. Coney Dog. It's going to be out for three games. As we uh, stay atop the AFC South, winning this close match. And Samson Witten is an offensive lineman, of course. Jason Witten's cousin. And uh, even though he got injured, he is going to get an upgrade. And I'll upgrade his strength as our O-lineman. Nope. Offensive coordinator gets an upgrade at the bye week as well. We'll plug this in while we're here. We'll uh, go ahead and ooh, we got a kicker here. 39-year-old kicker Raheem speaks. I'd love to hear what he says. I'm not going to take him though because I don't. I don't want him. Bye week. It's your bye week. Do you want to spend some time training with the team or working with the coaches? I don't care about the coaches. They probably won't be here as soon as I can afford to hire new ones. So we'll upgrade the team here, and it was quite the lucrative upgrade. It's going to upgrade a lot of players as Najee Olave, arm strength upgrade. EJ Diamond, full speed. Full speed ahead. Samson Witten, strength upgrade. Weston Goldman, strength upgrade. And we're at the trade deadline this week playing Tennessee. Is there anyone on this team I'd consider trading? Uh, right now, Hurd is injured. He's got one year left on his contract, and he's not very good. So right now, Najee Olave must have full conditioning because of the uh, bye week. So he has... 8 out of 10 speed, and Quincy Mullins has max speed, and EJ Diamond already has max speed. Everyone's got max speed because we came off a of bye week. This is great. And the arm strength for Devontae Ellis is also maxed out. What, how do you get that? You gotta be angry or toxic. Oh, he's, he's actually upset. That makes sense. I would let him play. I'd let him come in and try to run the offense a little bit, but we are actually needing our guys to be fully healthy and playing so and at jacksonville actually trying their best to contend for the afc south indy is still winless everyone else there is no undefeated teams a couple six and one and five and one teams in green bay new orleans tampa and philly but we're honestly fine if we look at the playoff picture we're, we're fine to make at least a wild card or win the division at this rate but nevertheless i will see you in the next episode when I take on the Tennessee Titans and maybe trade some players. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when I do that. But I'm going to milk this fresco for all it's worth, and I'll see you then.